in the same area a lot, yeah. you know, kind of going out with friends, just never, our paths never really crossed yet. Yeah, we met through a mutual friend, uh, her friend Gia. My best friend. Me, Gia, and my friend Joe would always go out, and uh, we would always go out together, and she asked if her friend Taylor can come. And we all went out together, and it was, it was a good time. Didn't talk until we were wearing the same shoes. We were both wearing Tim's, <laughs> and... And that kind of sparked conversation a little bit. And another thing that we like kind of like clicked on is we both had golden doodles. Yeah, so. we would like, we like had a lot in common. So we just like yeah. kept talking that night. It like, was really funny. We wore the same shoes, have the same pet. It was it Yeah, was we're both from small town. It makes it easy to hang out. always clicked and then we always saw a future because we have really good family and really good like parents we, we to look want, up to. We want the same things. Too. Yeah, we really do. I'll never forget the first time we went ring shopping and like, obviously I was like starstruck because I was like, oh my God, like, this is serious. Like we're ring shopping. Something that gave me confirmation. You looked at me and you were just like, are you ready? Like, are you, are you sure you're ready? That was just like, I know, he, like, we were both on the same page. But he yeah. kept a secret really long because you got the ring in November. I got the ring in November. Of 2016. Yeah. And then proposed in May 2017. Yeah. So that was pretty was, good. Yeah, which I'm not good at keeping secrets, so. He's not. So when I proposed, Taylor likes to do everything over the top. Uh, she's, I don't want to say like dramatic, but like, she's <laughs> extra. extra. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was planning this for like months. It was on her graduation. I had my parents go set everything up down at the Riverside gazebo, because it was raining, of course. I blindfolded her, and then we drove down there, and I don't think she had a clue. So when I took my blindfold off, he was standing under the gazebo with a big, like, marry me. He did really good. Yeah. I was shocked. I did not I expect it. it. Yeah, I was proud I was of proud. it. <laughs> he deserved to be proud. It was good. He did really good. Our future is really starting our own family and kind of like basing how we've grown up to like how we're going to start our own family and we're very excited for that and just kind of um, progressing with jo our jobs and hopefully moving up with that. I think just having everything like ours. We just bought the house in January so starting to fix that up, make it how we want it and then starting a family too, yeah, because we, we both value family a lot so to have one of our own is going to be It'll be special too. We'll stay busy and you know just keep growing as a couple and keep every new milestone will be something new and special. So it's exciting for everything. Those long talks, those late nights, spend staying.